All right, so that was one way of exploring our sample. For this next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of the fact that melodic samples sound quite nice when we play them at different octaves, like this. Part of the niceness of that is not just that the same melody is being played at different octaves, but also that the one that's higher up is being played at double the speed. And we end up with this nice cascading effect of the melodies. And if I play an octave down, it's going to be half the speed. And so what we can start doing now is we can layer these octaves on top of each other and play them simultaneously. And we could use the hold button for this, but I find that a little bit cumbersome to do and it's a little unreliable finger gymnastics involved. So what I like to do is I take the length of the pattern, which is defaulted to 16, and I bring it all the way down to 1 so that we just have a single step to work in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that step super, super long by both turning the tempo all the way down to as low as it can go, and also changing the note length to be as long as it can be. So a whole note, one over one. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I am going to record, and there's only one place to actually record in, so this thing is gonna be lighting up the entire time. And now I can start layering in my octaves. So let's do our neutral C. One octave up. One octave down. And I think that's enough. Don't want to overcomplicate it. Okay, now if I press play. We get them playing all the way out on repeat because of how slow our step has become. All right, so now what we can do is we can press play on this and we can start messing around with the sample. keep forgetting that I have this filter on. I think I like it kind of in the middle. It gets rid of a little bit of the harshness in the super high notes without making it too muddy.
that I liked the sound that I was getting when I turned the knob on the density left and right, left and right. And so I put in a, uh, a modulator here that would do that automatically for me. Actually, I think we could mess around with the shape of that. Right now it's on the default sine wave. This is kind of a cool sound. I'm gonna hold those two notes. 